let's finish things up with a story I hope will warm your heart. This is what I'm liking. So not long ago, a Virginia woman named Anna was rearranging some furniture and discovered a small door in her closet she never knew existed. When she opened it up, she discovered boxes of handwritten letters from the 50s, many of them romantic um, variety between Be uh, Betty Sue and Vance. Um, she knew that she had to get these love letters back to the original owners, so she did what people do in 2022 and took to social media, and internet sleuths came through. Turns out Betty Sue and Vance eventually did get married, and Anna was able to connect with their grandsons. We have all of them dialed in right now. Anna and Bodie are each watching in Richmond, Virginia on NBC 12, and Dalton's in Portland watching on Fox 12 Oregon. What's up, y'all? Hey, Hi. Hi. So, Anna, I'm gonna start with you. What did you think when you first discovered the letters? This story is like Goonies meets The Notebook. I'm a 1980s <laughs> baby, so obsessed with the movie Goonies, and yes. I'm thinking I'm gonna go into this crawl space slash attic and I'm going to find a map that's gonna lead me to Willy Wonka's treasure or some gold <laughs> coins that were gonna make me rich. Mm -hmm. But I ended up just finding creepy looking dolls and Christmas ornaments <laughs> and bills and things of that nature. But I did go in the corner and I found these two boxes of hundreds and hundreds of letters. Um, I thought to myself at that point, if these letters were out there in my family, I would absolutely want them in our possession. So that's why I went to social media to look for someone in the family. At first I was really concerned about privacy, but then I kicked that angel off my shoulder and invited <laughs> my sisters over and we drank some wine and read the letters. And it turns out it was a love story between Bodie and Dalton's grandparents and obviously awesome, really dynamic people. She was a basketball player, he was a baseball player. High school sweethearts, they fell in love. At least 60% of the letters were from those two um, there were more, I mean, men will be men. And in 1950, it was no different than it is now. They were chasing after Betty Sue pretty hard in those letters. <laughs> uh, <but> Vance, <laughs> Vance won in the end, obviously. So I was thrilled to get the letters to these guys so they can uh, read about their grandparents' courtship. I love that. So Dalton and Bodie, what did you think when you learned about these letters? So my first thought was, how did we live in this house for 18 years and have no idea that these letters were in the house? <laughs> and then immediately after that, I was thinking about how Dalton and I were gonna get a very personable understanding of our grandparents when they were young. And that was super exciting for both of us. Mm. I was actually the latest letter that I uh, read, talked about how my grandfather had been given an offer to play professional baseball in a summer league down in Florida. And they wanted to leave, him to leave the next day. So he started packing his bags and get, getting his affairs in order. And in the midst of all that, he re realized there was no way that he was gonna spend three plus months without my grandmother being four states away. So we decided to say no to the offer so that he could be closer to my grandma. And this letter, actually, that I just showed you, in the end, the letter closed with, if you are a dream, I hope to never be awoken, which is Aww. very poetic. I love that. <laughs> and B Betty Sue, boy, she, she was like, all right, go <laughs> ahead, leave. And he was like, never mind. <laughs> he was like, so Dalton, what, what did you think about the letters? I mean, I thought it was super romantic. Bodie and I were both very lucky because our grandparents were actually just a few houses down when we were growing up. So we had a super close relationship and we got to see them in love at the end of their lives. Hmm. But then, you know, recently our father passed away and he was kind of our last connection to that side of the family. And so we didn't really have much until these letters popped up and they've kind of become like, the last heirloom. Um, and I'm just really excited to explore their love and get to know our grandparents when they were my age or even a little younger. Yeah, I love that. That's so special. Uh, thank you so much, Anna. That's so cool. You didn't find buried treasure, but you found buried treasure for them. No, that's right. That's right. So, thank true. you, Anna. I would have read them too. I wouldn't have even needed wine. I'd have been like, I gotta know what this says. Um, Dalton and Bodie, thank you so much as well for sharing. I'm liking Elle's post right now, right? And, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And that's not all. Our season-long partner, Pilot Pin, makers of G2, the go-to pin of The Kelly Clarkson Show, think this story is as sweet as we do so they're going to be writing you a check for a thousand dollars for you all to split so there you go <laughs> oh.
Thank y'all so 